the California king snake. These gorgeous, gorgeous animals are called king snakes due to the fact that they are cannibals and they sometimes prey on their own species. This is commonly known throughout the herb hobby and well, pretty much um, I have something pretty cool that happened. So while I was doing a photo shoot with Phoenix, my California king snake, she took interest on this vine and started going downwards, like here, as I was recording her. Now, I had Phoenix here on these vines right here, and she was very active and she was trying her very hardest to get to the floor. So she slithered down this vine, she went onto the floor, and she slithered over here. And she was trying to get under this rock. Intrigued by this, I decided to, you know, pick the rock up and check what's under it. See if there's something attracting her. And this is what I found. This right here is a northern red ring snake. These guys are gorgeous little snakes and they are actually native to South Florida where I live. These guys are very pretty little creatures. They are actually venomous, believe it or not. Um, these snakes are notorious for being found in Florida backyards. However, I've only seen two, this one being the second. This guy is maybe a couple years old. He's not very old. Um, the red under him, see the red patterning? That flashy red is basically to show that he is dangerous to try and warn off predators. Their first line of defense is to show the red. As you can see, it turns a bit darker the more you go up the snake. Um, it's supposed to warn off predators, and if that doesn't work, these snakes will actually um, release musk, a very putrid bad smell. See, right there, how he's twirling his tail around? He's trying to warn me off, but I know better than that. These snakes, by the way, are actually venomous, believe it or not. They are venomous, but the venom is absolutely unharmful to human beings. They pretty much do nothing. These snakes, although really pretty, do not make good pets due to the fact that they are insectivores. They are very picky eaters, and it is very hard to feed <coughs> a wild-caught snake. I do not encourage the idea of capturing snakes and keeping them as pets. If you find a snake, it is alright to hold it, it is alright to admire it, as long as it's not dangerous, but always put it back where it came from. This is a wild animal and does not belong in captivity. My boy here though does belong in captivity. Ringo, do you like it? He doesn't like it very much. <laughs> He turned six today. Happy birthday, Ringo. All right, and in conclusion to this video, I will release him exactly where I found him, under those rocks. So what I'm actually gonna do right now is untangle this little guy from my fingers and send him on his way. There, and that's that. I feel really damn honored to have witnessed something as spectacular as that, nature taking its course and my snake hunting down its natural prey. Anyways guys, if you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button and subscribe, I promise to subscribe back, and I hope you enjoyed our very first video.